Yeah, you've been at this a long time. You know, you, you, you've been playing at a high level since you were a freshman, and now you get to end your senior year with a, a run at a state championship. You know, how satisfying is that? No, it's amazing. I couldn't ask for a better opportunity. You know, senior year is my last time to do this, so I'm just so thankful for this opportunity for this team. You know, getting here is, is a dream come true. You know, it's been a team effort the whole way, especially on defense, but you really stepped up tonight, both on the boards and, and scoring. But did you feel like, you know, it's okay, it's my time to shine and kind of put this on my back? Definitely, yeah. Uh, whenever the team needs, you know, I know that it's my role to step up as a leader, as the senior with the most experience in this position. Um, so I wanted to do what I could do for the team to help us get the win, and uh, we were able to do that. You know, I, I look back, the last time Washougal allowed 50 points or more was against Hawkinson on January 11th. Yeah. How satisfying is it for you to see this defense scrap and be disruptive and do what it's been doing? Um, it's awesome. I definitely think this year we have the best um, defensive team out of the four years I've played high school at Washougal. Um, so I, it's really awesome because defense wins games, ultimately. Um, that's something we preach, we work on. Um, so I'm just really happy that we're able to play such good defense. And now you get another rematch with East Valley next, a team you've seen before. Uh, what do you expect from them in the championship game? I definitely expect a hard game. You know, they're going to come out fighting. It's gonna, probably going to be pretty close. Um, they're really physical, too. It's going to be a very physical game. Um, and very fundamental. So it's just going to be who can make the least mistakes, who can own the boards and play great defense. Awesome. Uh, just, uh, you know, how proud are you of, of these girls and just the consistency that they've been able to show? So, so proud. Um, last time I talked to you was right after Tumwater. So since then, it's just been challenge, 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 like next step, growing as players, growing as a team, and willing our way forward. You know, I just. Big players have big plays and big games, and Beyonce is all that tonight. What does that say about her and the ability to really shoulder the team tonight? Yeah, she's the best player in the state, and I fully believe it. Um, she pushes her team, and she pushes herself harder than anybody else on the floor. And her size, and her speed, and her strength, there's not a lot that can, that can match her. So, You're really not. proud. I looked it up. The last time uh, Washougal allowed 50 points or more was January 11th against Hawkins in 13 games. You know, what is it about the defense that's able to force teams out of their comfort zone? Yeah, um, we just get after it. I mean, these girls have been practicing and practicing defense as much as offense since they were little. So they, you know, they know what it's about. They know where they need to be. We work on it every day. We push and push and push and. It's a lot of heart, a lot of hard work, long season, so. And now you get a rematch against a team that you played in the regional round. Uh, you know, yeah. it can, can that be an advantage or does it kind of throw a, a wrench in that they've seen you before? Yeah, um, I think it's just a new challenge for us. I mean, going through league, you play everyone twice. Going through district, sometimes you play three times. So no matter what, we have to look at it as a challenge and we have to be ready to step up because they'll make changes, we'll make changes and we'll just see who comes out on top tomorrow.